Hi, welcome to What's Up Westchester, episode number 39. My name is Margaret Ann Tilford with the Kim Arenas team at Holohan Lawrence, and today we are going to go scope out the Rye Local Farmers Market. Um, one of the great things about Westchester, all of its fabulous farmers markets you can find. The one in Rye is operated by um, down to earth farmers markets, and they do a fabulous job here setting up, uh, making it a convenient and smooth process for our farmers market here and we're going to try and catch up with two of their vendors. We're also going to catch up with Jack Knife who you can drop your knives off with and he does a fabulous job of um, sharpening them right there while you shop at the farmers market and you can pick them up on your way out. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about the Rife local farmers market and we hope that you um, explore the one nearest you. Hey everybody, I'm Jack from Jack Knife Sharpening. Maybe you've seen me, I've gotten some press lately. Great press actually. Five star rated on Google. I also sell uh, for Henkel. I have their top line products, their Chef Series, four star. Um, sharpening is just a passion for me. I resigned from corporate just so I could um, deliver this service and people get really excited about it. There's a, there's a love that comes with um, most people's cutlery. It was either a wed wedding present or something that means uh, a lot to them. Um, and when I give it back to them sharp and uh, they get very excited and uh, it gives them, you know, a good feeling so that when they're chopping or slicing or whatever, it's so much easier and I help them with that. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to sharpen a knife right now just to show you how it's done and just a couple pointers. Keep them out of the dishwasher, keep them out of the sink and don't hit the carving fork, move it before. When you're done, rinse it, put it away. The less usage, uh, the longer it stays sharp. A restaurant will use a knife for a week and get it sharpened. The average homemaker, about three to six months. If you have to saw a tomato, you've gone too far. Um, so with that said, why don't I begin? Now I can cut it off. So the perfect way Started edge, clean off the old the little chips to mix whatever residue. Once I get the edge where I want it, nice and clean. Take the pan, set it to point. All three for one night. This polishes it, so it actually gets the exact edge. And that polishes. So neat. And, and Jack we'll, does everything from his truck to the farmer's market. Want it, the goal is. Wow. That's when you know it's ready. That's nice carpeting 101. Well, thank you. This is great. Thank you. We are here at a vegan, gluten-free, allergen-free, vegetarian, gourmet products that are handmade. You see a sign here. Will you tell us more? Introduce yourself and tell us more about your products. My name is Nirmala Gupta, and I'm the one who started the company, Bombay Amaro Chutney Company. We started with the chutneys. We have six chutneys. Three are without sugar, and three have food-based, but they have little sugar added to them. And all the six chutneys are made to cook with them. We have instructions what to do with them. Oh, nice. Like people ask us, oh, what should I do with the chutney? So we tell them, use the chutneys any way you want, hot or cold. You can marinate the meats, red meat, white meat, use on the seafood. Very simple to do the vegetables. Yeah. Chop, dice, cut the vegetable, little olive oil in the pan, sort it quickly, add the chutney and simmer for one minute. All the chutneys can be mixed with plain yogurt sour cream to create your own cooking sauce, simmer sauce, marinade dip or salad dressing. Then we added samosas to our product line, roti roll, wajma, saad and kofta. Oh nice. So they are like prepared, three are the hardy soups, kofta, saad, wajma are the hardy soup. Samosas are the patties and roti is the wrap sandwich. Okay. That's our product line. Then we added Ayurvedic spices 
Wow. Because a lot of customers were asking for them. So we have 12 of them. And are you local? Where are you based on? We of? are local. We live in Yorktown Heights. Okay. And we produce these products in Memorna. Okay. In a rented kitchen. And you said nothing's made with machinery. It's no, all... we do all by our hands. We do use the blender. Okay. To chopper and mixing the dough. But everything is rolled by hand. Like the samosas. Nothing's are processed. Rolled by hand, cut by hand, filled by hand. Wow. So the same thing with the chutneys. We fill everything by hand. Wow. And they're jars, but so all the things are made by hand, like my hand, my husband's hand, and I have help uh -huh. in the kitchen. And so, are you here every Sunday at the Rye Farmers this Market? This market, usually my markets are done once a month. Okay. So I do once a month Rye, once a month Saturday large month market. Okay. And then we are in other Westchester County markets like Hastings, Bronxville, Pleasantville, Muscoot is on Sunday. Okay. And we do city markets also, like Chelsea, Morningside, Park Slope. But if people want to order online, they can also place orders online? They can order dry stuff online. Okay. We do the home deliveries. For example, if someone says they want frozen items and the chutneys and the spices, we can make the home delivery. Okay. But the chutneys and spices, and we do rice also. Yeah. We can ship it. Well, great. In the US. Thank you so much. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. We are here with Seth Greenberg at the Rye Farmers Market. And Seth, will you tell us a little bit about all this yummy smelling dessert you made? Sure. Uh, give me a little to give you a little background. I grew up in the city of New York, Manhattan, in my father's bakeries, William Greenberg Jr. Desserts. I worked with him for about 25 years. So what I do today has been strongly influenced by my time there. Aww. And but these are my recipes, you know, that I've developed since I left or sold the business. And I do uh, cinnamon crumb coffee cakes and marble and chocolate chip tea loaves from the pound cake family, a little lighter, Yum. a little silkier texture. And I've joined farmer's markets. This is the first year I've ever sold in the farmer's market. And the rye has a, been a wonderful venue, lovely customers and uh, great shady you know, parking lot that they give us. We'll be here through, I think, the middle of December. Okay. And we're here every Sunday morning from 8.30 to 2. And I am here every Sunday morning with other rotating vendors. So um, I'd say, come on down. I always have something to sample, whether it's the marble tea loaf or a brownie, which is the rich, chocolate, dense, fudgy, intense type, not the drier, cakier, <laughs> infidel brownie, but it's personal choice. And, we have an assortment of cookies, including the seedless raspberry thumbprint and the almond tins with a little lemon in the batter, the chocolate chip that have a touch of cinnamon, the vanilla wave cookie, which is your classic vanilla sugar cookie with only six ingredients, butter, sugar, flour, egg yolk, salt, and vanilla. And that, that's the real fun part about baking, is taking a bunch of ingredients and actually making something completely different out of those. Cooking, you're always just sort of flavoring or seasoning and not changing the basic. In baking, we actually make something out of nothing. Yeah. Particularly with um, like the sour cream dough that I use for the cinnamon crumb coffee cake and the sticky bun loaf. You're making this, this rich dough that has you know, bulk and mass to it and then you shape it up into cakes all out of butter, sugar, flour, yeah, eggs, right sour cream, and yeast. Wow. And it's a lot of fun, it's really rewarding. And yeah. then you sample it and people say, wow, that's great, and you feel wonderful. Yeah. So come down, have a sample, it tell me it's wonderful, and, and <laughs> buy a few to take home. Well, thank you so much, Seth. Thank you, and, and enjoy the yes, season yes, at the market. Thank you.
thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you will get out to the farmer's market and explore the local vendors that yours have. Um, Down to Earth Markets is wonderful. I was able to just catch up with one of their representatives who was telling me about a newsletter that you can sign up for and every week you will get an email updating you on which vendors will be at the farmer's market that specific weekend and what you can expect to see and find. Um, they also have this really cool blog where they share recipes that are in season um, with the foods and fruits that you can get at your farmer's market. Um, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there's all, tons of ideas. I just looked it up um, and it was a great resource. So if you have a down to earth market nearest to you, um, sign up for their newsletter, find out where they're gonna be and when, and um, also who's gonna be there. Um, we hope this was helpful for you guys. We know we love enjoying our local farmer's market. And until next week, the Kim Arenas team is signing off. Have a good day.